Matthew chapter 27 Judas hung himself Early in the morning all the chief priests and the elders of the people made their plans how to make Jesus executed so they bound him led him away and handed him over to Pilate the governor When Judas who had betrayed him saw that Jesus was condemned he was seized with remorse and returned the 30 pieces of silver to the high priest and the elders I have sinned he said for I have betrayed innocent blood What is it to us they replied that's your responsibility so Judas threw the money into the temple and left then he went away and hung himself The chief priests picked up the coins and said it is against the law to put this into the treasury since it is blood money so they decided to use the money to buy the potter's field as a burial place for foreigners that is why it has been called the field of blood to this day then what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled they took the 30 pieces of silver the price set on him by the people of Israel and they used them to buy the potter's field as the lord commanded me jesus before pilate meanwhile jesus stood before the governor and the governor asked him are you the king of jews you have said so jesus replied when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders he gave no answer Then Pilate asked him, "Don't you hear the testimony they are bringing against you?" But Jesus made no reply, not even to a single charge, to the great amazement of the governor. Now it was the governor's custom at the festival to release a prisoner chosen by the crowd. At that time, they had a well-known prisoner whose name was Barabbas. So when the crowd had gathered, Pilate asked them, Which one do you want me to release to you? Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he knew it was out of self-interest that they had handed Jesus over to him. While Pilate was sitting on the judge seat, his wife sent him this message, "Don't have anything to do with that innocent man, for I have suffered a great deal today in a dream because of him." But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus executed. Which of the two do you want me to release to you? asked the governor. Barabbas they answered, What shall I do then with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? Pilate asked. They all answered, Crucify him. Why, what crime has he committed? asked Pilate. but they shouted all the louder crucify him when pilate saw that he was getting nowhere but that instead an uproar was starting he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd i am innocent of this man's blood he said it is your responsibility all the people answered his blood is on us and on our children then he released barabbas to them but he had jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified The soldiers mocked Jesus. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the Praetorium and gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him and then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff in his right hand, then they knelt in front of him and mocked him, "Hail, King of the Jews," they said. They spit on him and took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. After they had mocked him, they took off the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. The crucifixion of Jesus. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There. they offered Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall but after tasting it he refused to drink it when they had crucified him they divided up his clothes by casting lots and sitting down they kept watching over him there above his head they placed the written charge against him this is Jesus the king of jews Two rebels were crucified with him one on his right and one on his left 
those who passed by hurled insults at him shaking their heads and saying you who were going to destroy the temple and build it in 3 days save yourself come down from the cross if you are the son of god in the same way the chief priests the teachers of the law and the elders mocked him he saved others they said but he can't save himself he is the king of israel let him come down now from the cross and we will believe in him he trusts in lord let god rescue him now if he wants him for he said i am the son of god in the same way the rebels who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him the death of jesus from noon until 3 in the afternoon darkness came over all the land about 3 in the afternoon jesus cried out in a loud voice eli eli laba sabachthani which means my god my god why have you forsaken me when some of those standing there heard this they said he's calling elijah immediately one of them ran and got a sponge he he filled it with wine vinegar put it on a staff and offered it to jesus to drink the rest said now leave him alone let's see if elijah comes to save him and when jesus had cried out again in a loud voice he gave up his spirit at that moment the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom the earth shook the rocks split and the tombs broke open the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life they came out of the tombs after jesus resurrection and went to the holy city and appeared to many people when the centurion and those with him who were guarding jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened they were terrified and exclaimed surely he was the son of god many women were there watching from a distance they had followed jesus from galilee to care for his needs among them were mary magdalene mary the mother of james and joseph and the mother of zebedee's sons the burial of jesus as evening approached there came a rich man from armathia named joseph who had himself become a disciple of jesus going to pilate he asked for jesus body and pilate ordered that it be given to him Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Magdalene were sitting there opposite the tomb. The guard at the tomb. The next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, We remember that while he was still alive that deceiver said after 3 days I will rise again so give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day otherwise his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead this last deception will be worse than the first take a guard pilate answered go make the tomb as secure you know how so they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting the guard to be continued thank you for watching